Hey everybody, what's up? This is Dave Tyner from Rev Rocket, and today we are going to be learning about uh, creating a series contest and then creating additional contests to place into the series container. Uh, and this way we can create multiple contests, put them in underneath another contest, and uh, aggregate the data for all of the contests in the series. So it's pretty exciting stuff. And uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to point out that I am on our um, Raycom Hot Deals site, but obviously you would do this from your own site. Uh, but let's go ahead and click on contests here. And um, the first thing I want to do is create a contest series. Now, I've done this a few times, so you might see my autofill populating, but I'm going to call this NCAA Football 20, whoops, 2014. And I can upload an image and I can uh, create some content here, which I will just call it uh, NCAA. 2014 season contest series. All right. You can pick a sponsor and then label them as primary if you wish. Uh, you can lay out the prizes here, and I'll just do that really quickly. Um, first prize gets $1,500, so you really want to win this one. Five, second place isn't bad, but third place, meh. Try, try harder. That's all I can say. All right, so save the series. All right, so now we have this series, NCAA Football 2014. And so the very next step that we need to do is to create a games contest and then have it be a part of this series. So very easily, I'll click the Create Games Contest. Uh, remote, no, do not want remote. <clears throat> Associated with a business. You can choose a business to uh, associate this contest with, or station level, obviously, is what we want here. Uh, we want it to be active. We want it to be featured. Uh, the contest title is going to be NCAA Football, but we want this to be Week 1. Whoops. Week 1. All right. And we want it to be part of a series here, so we want NCA Football 2014. Uh, notify via email, yes. Visible on the website, definitely want that. So the contest start dates. We have the, the start and end dates here. And we have a contest start date and then the entry start date. So if you want the contest to be live and let people see that it exists, it's sort of like a preview, uh, you could do that, uh, but if you don't want them to be able to enter their uh, their picks, then unchecking the follow start time, you see that you have a customizable entry start date. So the contest can start on June 15th, but the entries can't start until you know August 6th or whatever whatever the date is. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it to follow the start time, and that all looks pretty good. I think I'm going to bump this back to like the 15th. Uh, if you have created an SMS contest that you want to link this to, you would do that here. I have not, so I won't. I'm going to go ahead and use the sports theme, uh, and then you can. So this is the the games contest page specific so all this the rest of this will go on the actual contest page uh, you have a main contest image I've chosen this theme so I don't need that and I don't need that um, and in the content I'm actually just gonna upload a little banner just to show you how to do it alrighty whoops okay there we go. And get ready for awesome. And you can.
can I mean I'm sure you guys have people who do this but uh, I'm just going to take valuable time here and do that and so this is the so next section is the rules uh, we can copy from another contest or we can create our own rules but this is definitely a required field uh, you must be really cool and that is the only rule that I'm putting in this thing is that you gotta be cool to enter it uh, the bounce back email do not send yes alright and so we have name email mobile all of which I want to be required and these are the form fields obviously that uh, when the user wants to sign up to join the contest these are the fields that uh, they will be asked to enter um, these are three good ones and so I generally make these required um, all the others obviously you're free to um, to ask them to fill out as many fields as possible but just remember the fewer fields they have to fill out the um, the more likely they are to sign up nobody likes to enter you know a contest with 20 some odd fields but if you need it we certainly accommodate for that uh, minimum age to enter and win is 18 uh, set it to whatever you like on screen thank you so this is this the message they'll get when they um, sign up so mine is going to be Thank you. Sign up to contest. Good luck. All right. So that's a very inspirational thank you message. And the inactive contest. So if the contest is inactive, uh, this is the message that will be displayed. This inactive and again sponsors for that particular week um, if you want to add the SMS notification uh, and then the automatically pick winners field here I like to keep it at do not automatically pick a winner um, it gives the station a little more control uh, rather than letting the system pick the winner and then go out and notify them generally the station wants to know uh, who won and then uh, notify them that way but if you choose to pick a winner automatically you have many many options available to you uh, for that option but I'm gonna keep it at that um, you can have it be a Facebook only contest where people have to like to join um, but and you can certainly host it on Facebook after the fact uh, if you like but this is just Facebook only option and no I want it to be on the website as well and then you have the option of a custom like page image now if you want to show pics from the staff uh, you want to just say a title is uh, Beat our best. Okay, and we want to pick John Tyner because that guy is like a football machine. Oh, Mary Hart. Mary Hart is like a football machine. John Tyner is more like a football, you know, not machine. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, now we have the choice to go back to the contest section, do all this other stuff. We're going to go back to the contest, contest section. Okay, beginning. so now what we're going to do is we are going to add games to this NCAA football week one. And how we do that is we come here to the contest section, click on games contest. We're going to see our NCAA football week one. Click on show actions info. And then we have this teams and matches. So click that. And we want to add national games to this contest. All right. And so we have the list here of all of these games. And 
I just want to pick these even though there are more for that weekend and add them all right so now it takes us to the results of all the games that we picked and so what we want to do out of all of these is we want to pick a tiebreaker game if you want not not, not required but if you want to pick a tiebreaker game let's go to uh, I don't know Villanova Syracuse here All right, so now we have created the tiebreaker and it's labeled here with the tiebreaker. So let's go ahead and uh, check this thing out. So we come down here, go back to the contest page, come over here to new and recent games contest, show actions or info, and view contest on the website. All right, so here we have the theme that we created, NCAA football. Get ready for awesome with our image that is a little bit too wide. All right, so if you are logged in already, it's going to auto-populate the form fields here with the correct values. But uh, for right now, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to confirm that I am indeed 18 years or older. And when we do that, it takes us to the Make Your Picks page here. All the games are listed. Simply just pick your games. All right, and then the tiebreaker, final scores added together, will be 45. All right, so then it takes us back to the top of the page where we can see that we have indeed picked all of the games. It, it, it wishes us good luck, and um, that is basically that. So thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, feel free to contact us if there's any questions or something was left unclear. And uh, good luck with, with all your entries. Thanks.